Hey YouTube, how's it going? Venomman20 here, and tonight we're going to be taking a look at the species that holds the record as being the largest rattlesnake on earth. So stay tuned. All venomous snake handling in this video is performed by a professional. Please don't try anything you're about to see at home. So the snake I'm going to be unboxing today is known as Crotalus adamantheus. This is the eastern diamondback rattlesnake. These guys are pretty awesome. Now, I'm going to reiterate, this is not his cage. I just got this guy. I'm getting ready to set him up inside his enclosure. If you want to see his enclosure, I'm sure you will here soon. I'll probably do a feeding video on with this guy. But uh, just a beautiful little snake. I'm actually showing you the darker specimen because I do have a male and female pair. I do believe that this is the male that I'm getting out right now. But he's just a little bit darker. The female is a real nice yellow. But I like this guy's colors. I like dark snakes all in all. So, of course, this is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. The reason he's called the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake is because he has these beautiful little diamonds on his back. And he's also from the Southeastern United States. So these guys are found throughout Florida parts of North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Mississippi, uh, just a little bit of uh, Louisiana, but just absolutely awesome little specimen I have here. So as I said inside the beginning of the video, these are one of the biggest venomous snakes on earth, not only in America. This is the biggest venomous snake in America. And there are sensationalized reports saying these guys get like 12 foot long, they just get huge, and that's pretty inaccurate. They do not. A lot of that is forced perspective. And what is forced perspective? Right here, right, right this close, oh, he's a squirrely little guy. He looks small, right? But if I hold him out like this, you guys are like, wow, that's a big rattlesnake, because it's closer to the camera than it is to me. Now, I could also sensationalize that by coming on the other side of this table and getting just a little bit closer to the camera. But uh, all in all, these guys are pretty awesome. Um, now, I would consider this to actually be the most dangerous snake in North America. And you would say, but Venom Man, just the other day, you did a video on the coral snake and you said that that was the deadliest snake or the most toxic snake. It's not the most deadly, it is the most toxic. So a coral snake's lethal dose to a human would be five milligrams of venom, five mig of venom. Lethal dose for this guy would be about 100 to 150 mig of venom. So the coral snake is about, what, 20 times more toxic than this snake? But the coral snake's only gonna give you about 10 mig of venom, which is just barely enough to kill you. Maybe could kill two adult human beings if everything went right. But this guy with his big fangs and his huge venom yield could actually give you a thousand mig of venom. A thousand mig. That's 10 adult human beings could die from one bite from this snake. Now that's with everything perfect. That's not a typical venom yield. That is the maximum, but it is possible. Now I said that, like I said, this is one of the largest venomous snakes. This is the largest venomous snake in North America in the United States. Um, with that being said, it can get about, the record right now was in 1946. It was a seven foot, eight inch specimen, and it was 34 pounds. So when I say biggest, I mean heaviest, 34 pounds. To put that into perspective, my King Cobra unboxing, I said this snake has to weigh over 30 pounds. This snake as an adult could too. I have seen three specimens in person, that, I just did two, <laughs> I've seen three specimens in person that was as thick as a two liter soda bottle. So that's about as thick as a football. A football is in football, not as in soccer. I know here in America we call football football, the rest of the world calls it soccer's football. I, I get that, that's a little confusing. But uh, these guys are just magnificent. So since these guys get very big, and they have pretty an extensive range, but habitat destruction and world population growth, these guys could be on the endangered species list pretty soon. Because when people find this inside their garden, especially a six foot individual, they don't want anything to do with it. They want to kill it. 
They want to get it out of there as fast as possible. But I want you to notice something. This snake, I'm poking and prodding and pulling him back with this hook. I'm probably ticking him off quite a bit. And what does he do? He doesn't rattle. He doesn't sit there in the figure ass trying to bite me. He isn't going crazy. He's trying to get away. If I left him alone, he'd be off the end of the table here in a couple seconds trying to hide underneath a potted plant or underneath a chair or underneath the couch, you know? He's not gonna go out of his way to come at me. So the big statistic is, people that get bit by venomous snakes like this are trying to kill them. You know, here in America, we typically wear boots and jeans. We wear a lot of things that can significantly reduce your risk of a venomous snake bite. Where you see 100,000 people dying a year, that's over in India where sometimes they don't wear shoes or over in Africa where sometimes they don't wear shoes and they're walking around these little vipers that love to bite because salt scale vipers are very aggressive. But this guy's just very calm. So if you was to see a snake like this, you should not try to kill it. You should not try to get real close for your Instagram post or your Snapchat story. You should back up. You should leave him alone. Get a couple pictures from a distance. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you was to try to kill this to keep your family safe, there's a good chance that you could get bit not understanding the strike range of the specimen. And that wouldn't be good. But one interesting fact about these, you think huge rattlesnake, biggest rattlesnake on earth. They probably can't climb very well, right? There's actually documented cases of these guys being up 30 feet into the trees hanging out. So they don't typically climb, but they can climb very well if they want to. And I know the ones that we used to have on display at the zoo would very commonly climb up into the brush that we put in there with them. And they'd be way up, you know, above eye level. And you'd be like, man, that looks like a mamba up there. But it's actually just a little Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake. So like I said, there's actually, a lot of people say these things get monstrous. There's actually a cash reward, or there was a cash reward for any Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake found over eight foot long, and not a single person has ever cashed in on that reward. So a lot of people say they caught a 12 foot rattlesnake. Let's see it. You know, your picture, if you holding it up 10 feet away from your body, that's not very good proof, bro. <laughs> get better proof than that. These guys do get very big though. Like I said, a 30 pound snake, that is a big, big snake. These also, since they're the biggest rattlesnake on earth, also have the biggest fangs of any rattlesnake on earth. An adult specimen could have fangs up to an inch long. So, like I said, these are very girthy, uh, up to a soda bottle thickness, two liter soda bottle thickness. A lot of people's like, well, the Gaboon Viper is much heavier. There's not actually very much documented proof that the Gaboon Viper gets any heavier than these guys. Now, of course, like I said, 15 foot long King Cobra could probably get heavier than these, but there are some outliers of this species that just get huge. So I'm really excited to have these, really excited to do something with them, probably breed them eventually. Of course, this is just a little tiny baby coming out of their mama. They're already like nine to 12 inches. They're already big. It's very seldom that you ever find a specimen that's under 12 inches of length. So we'll feed this guy up, see how big he gets. I'm excited to keep them and show them to you guys for years to come. So on an upcoming video, I will be comparing the coral snake venom to the rattlesnake venom and going more in depth on that. And I will show you the other one to the pair of these. I'm going to say the female because I'm pretty sure this is the male. Could be wrong. His tail does look a little short, but I don't have anything to compare it to right now. So we'll see. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you stick around because I have some cool things coming out. Hopefully I'll get to show you guys some fertile ants here soon. Uh, maybe some other really cool stuff. If you're already subscribed, you might have seen that post. But if you're not subscribed, make sure you become subscribed because I'd hate for you to lose out. But anyway, thank you guys for checking out this video. Y'all have a wonderful day.